This tutorial is for the Brioche Pearl Two Stitch Decrease. This is the first decrease you do in the Up North hat. Uh, and you can see in my swatch here that I have the, the contrast color bars headed up the hat. Um, I do have two salvage stitches at the end, um, at the beginning and the end. And what I'm going to show you is how you work this in the pattern. So the pattern is an eight stitch repeat. So it's worked over these eight stitches. So you can see it's actually two columns of the pearls. And what you're going to do is, like I said, the stitch is worked over three stitches here. Uh, you decrease away stitch A and stitch C, and then the purl column is what is going to continue up your hat. You do need a locking stitch marker. I like one of these big ones because uh, it's got more heft to it. It also lets me hold it a little better. Um, you could also use a cable needle if you wanted to, but um, you're only moving one stitch forward, so this stitch marker works well. Um, the little bulb stitch markers uh, will work, just not as well in my opinion okay so I am going to do this decrease across the whole row uh, very similar to how you do it in the pattern working over the eight stitches so the first thing I'm going to do is just knit my first two salvage stitches here these are not in the pattern these are just to keep my swatch together so like you've been doing on um, row two all along, you're going to knit your first stitch, purl your second stitch, knit the next two, and again, some of these are the brioche knit. All right, and then again, your decrease is now worked across these three stitches. Stitch A is a knit stitch. Stitch B is um, got what I call your shawled stitch. It is um, a purl stitch. And then stitch C is again a knit stitch. So to do this, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slip stitch A as if to knit. So it's gonna twist it. You're then going to take your locking stitch marker and take your stitch B, your shawled stitch, and the purl stitch, and you're just going to bring that forward. And I like to hold it with my thumb so it doesn't twist or do anything weird. Then you're going to bring your yarn to the front. You're going to purl stitch C. So now both Stitch A and stitch C are on your right hand needle. You're then gonna pass stitch A over stitch C to decrease it away. And then you're gonna pull stitch B back onto your left hand needle. You're gonna take your stitch C because again, we decreased A away and put that back on your left hand needle. And then you're going to take the shawled stitch, stitch B, the stitch and the yarn over both pieces, and you're gonna pull those over stitch B. And then put stitch B back on your right hand needle. Before you go on to your next stitch, you want to pull this tight. You've now stretched and worked a bunch of stitches here while only purling a single stitch. So you've got a lot of um, a lot of yarn back there, so tighten that up. Um, so that is stitch seven of your repeat. This is stitch eight of your repeat. So you can see my eight stitch repeat is now down to two, four, six stitches. So we're gonna do it again. Knit, purl, knit, brioche knit. 
All right, and this is our next set of decreases. And again, you're gonna slip as if to knit, take stitch B down and hold, bring your yarn forward and purl, pass your slip stitch over Put stitch B back on your left hand needle. Again, make sure it is the shawled stitch and the knits and the purl stitch. Put both back on your that back to your left hand needle. Pass B over C. Put it back on your left hand needle and pull it tight. And then brioche knit for stitch eight. Again, I've got one more repeat here. So, knit, brioche purl, knit one, brioche knit. I apologize if you can hear the cat. He's deaf and he yells sometimes. All right, so we're going to slip as if to knit. Pull this stitch down. Oh, and I didn't get the shawl there. So again, you need the purl and the yarn over. Pull those both down, hold them. Bring your yarn forward, purl. You can see here it's already getting really loose. It's fine, just let it be loose for now. Slip that over, pull these back up. Cross that over there and then pull it tight. And then brioche knit your last stitch. And then these are just my two salvage stitches. All right, so that's that's all there is to it. It's a lot of movement and really just a single purl stitch. So this is what your decrease should look like. It should be a decrease every other set of columns for your first rep for your first set of decreases. And then on your second set of decreases, you're going to decrease this, um, this first column, just like you've done the second one.